Hi, welcome to Schulte Sweetie's Homeschool YouTube channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm a mom of three girls ages 12, 9, and 6. So I have been sharing the different subjects, the curriculum that we have picked out, and I wanted to go ahead and share what we have picked out for science. Some of my other videos for the subjects have been collaborations. This is not a collaboration. I'm just kind of going off and showing you what we are using since we are not doing family science for the most part. We are gonna do, I will add that into my family subjects, what we kind of have. Um, it's not too regular, so uh, we are doing individual sciences this year. This will be tricky. I don't know how it's gonna work out. We'll see how like scheduling and everything goes. start with my oldest. So I think it was about January of this school year in her seventh grade year, we were kind of debating on science and I knew that she needed more, especially being in middle school. Science is not her favorite subject. Science is not her favorite subject. And I was like, oh, we need something that you will enjoy and really be interested in but like not be too crazy challenging because she has no desire to go into a stem field steam field uh she will likely i'm guessing like theater art graphic design something along those lines artsy i don't know i don't know exactly but i don't think she will do like a nurse a doctor a vet or anything like that so uh, we kind of brainstormed a little bit and we went through, I have videos of different science options and that kind of was what I think sparked this, the video series that I did with middle school options for like science, history, and language arts and math. And so we got thinking and I contacted Science Mom because that was one that had been suggested and they offered to give us a curriculum for free in exchange for a review, which that will be coming out after we've gotten a little more done. <laughs> so, but we have really loved it. And honestly, I think Science Mom can be for the kids that really might not go into a STEM field or the kids that will. Like, I really think that this is such a great curriculum. So this is non-religious. There's not religion talked about in any of these and what she chose to get was biology one it kind of shocked me that that's the one that she chose but she chose biology one and is loving it um so this is like the printables they have a section where you print it out but what the bulk of the curriculum is actually are videos these are videos that they actually recorded from recording them live so she they did them um, live classes each week and kids would sign on so they kind of sometimes like interact with the kids and stuff so sometimes that's like huh okay but it's really not that bad for them to be interacting uh they are still she is still gaining so much information from science mom so this is like it's kind of like a notebook workbook they can color and doodle in it. And then they also have, trying to flip to some pages that she hasn't done yet. They have like drawings in here. They have different, like here's some, she loves these like fact and fiction in here. Some where they might write notes, they might fill in blanks, all sorts of things. So they go through cells, biomolecules, diversity of life, human physiology, and then microbiology, and then there's an appendix. So there is a lot of information in here. Um, what they do have some quizzes throughout. They have some like, yeah, here's a quiz in here. So they have some of those, they have their experiments. They usually have extra videos of the experiments as well. Like we just did one with this, um, getting the strawberry DNA out of the strawberries and it was so much fun. And they told you you could do like strawberries, bananas, or split peas. And they walked you through each one and suggested different things. So that was really cool. I love when like you can watch an experiment too. 
Um, they have these that we actually usually print them off every week. You don't have to print them off, but there's like little poll questions that they do every time. It's, I say every week, we kind of do it once, <laughs> once a week or so, uh, but you could do it. Like I think it's set up for like three times a week, but they said there's not a time limit on <laughs> finishing up the curriculum. And so we kind of have kind of just adjusted to once a week, twice a week sometimes. So these are like poll questions and they go through the answers on the video. The videos are about a half an hour long or so. So uh, that is about a pretty decent time for my daughter. And then she goes and does some of the papers that are suggested in here. And that's her lesson. So she is really enjoying it enough that we have picked out for next year She's going to continue on with Science Mom and go into Physics 1. They actually do have a Biology 2, but she decided to switch to Physics 1 just to kind of get a different science. These are meant to be about a semester long, but she's we're kind of taking them a little bit slow and probably dry. This Biology 1, she will probably be continuing into the next school year, and then she will work on Physics with that. So I have not used Physics, but it, I have heard... Uh, from another mom that uses it on YouTube that it's pretty intense. So we'll see how this goes. She might get more frustrated with this science as with, but I think it'll be fun too. So not only does the science, so the videos would be also included in this. They also have these like printable little like physics cards. I think like kind of like a memory match thing for all like the physics terms as well. So that is for my eighth grader. Then since we were already on a science mom kick, I saw that they have two options. They have fourth and fifth grade options. I think it's earth science and chemistry. Well, earth science is free. So I was like, well, of course we'll do free. And so my fourth grader will be doing earth science. She is wanting to go into like a STEM field. She wants to be a veterinarian, but I still think this is a great curriculum that she will do really well with. I think this is going to be a lot of fun for her. And I'm, I'm excited to jump into this one too. This is all free online on their Science Mom website. And you just sign, you can sign on and get their Earth Science printables, print it out, and then just go to the videos each week. So that's what we will be doing. And... I'm excited. Then for my youngest, I had originally considered, we have been using Masterbooks for the creation, let's talk about creation, Adventures in Creation, I don't know, one of those <laughs> names. We have been using that this year and I thought about just working through that and then we have the physical science I think for the next year. We could use that because I have PDFs but I have not loved them this year. I thought when I bought them, I'm like, oh, this will be easy to implement each day, but I've just kind of dreaded using them. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the stories or oh, so much hands-on that I was like, okay, I think we just need to not use those next year. Then I was like, well, I don't wanna really spend a lot of money. I'm already getting the earth science for free. And I just was like, what can we use? that would be good and low cost. Well, I decided to go and get um, the core knowledge downloads for first grade. She's gonna be in first grade. And I thought this should be easy enough for me to implement. So what I did was I went ahead and downloaded everything and then I went ahead and printed off all of the printables for the first grade sciences. I think there's six of them. So the first one, and I just bound it all together and printed off the readers. I'm probably gonna use them all online and I'm gonna show you those on a, my computer in just a second. But I went ahead and printed off the front page of the readers and put it in here for the workbook pages. So the first section is sun, moon, and stars. Let's see if I can get to this. Second section is plant and animal survival. Then we have exploring light and sound in here. Some of these units are longer than others. Then we have simple machines. 
And the last one, oh, no, there's two more. There's human body systems. And the last one is pretty small, I think. And then we have helpful computers. So what I love about core knowledge is there are so many different parts of science. Like we've got helpful computers for, for like digital stuff. You've got, you know, human body, you have sun, moon, and stars, you have animals and plants. I love that there's so much, um, so many topics of science covered. And that's going to be so helpful for us this next year with doing um, our public virtual school because we have to meet so many goals and um, study different parts of science. So this will be really nice to be able to help meet those goals really easily. So I'm going to go ahead and flip over to my computer and show you like what I've downloaded and how I plan to use it. All right, so this is on my computer where I've downloaded. This is just the first one that I came to, which is the Helpful Computers unit. So this is the first resource and it just has some extra resources and uh, websites that you can go to to use for this unit. And then the next thing that is on this is the book. This is the reader. Um, you can purchase this printed. I am probably gonna put it on my iPad and use it that way and but this is just showing you it's really colorful and it's a small like picture book type thing and introducing the topics to you so i'm just going to scroll through some of these to show you All right, and then this last link is the teacher's guide and this is where you get into like the standards and introducing like what all is going to be covered in this unit. Uh, some of these standards I don't really pay much attention to because it's kind of like over my head since I am not a public school teacher. Uh, but I do appreciate that they have all of this extra information. So I'm going to scroll on through until this is a planning page that you could use for this as well but here is where you start the lesson and each unit has these kind of broken up exactly the same way there's vocabulary they tell you like what you're going to be in um, teaching then it tells you what you're going to be reading together and it pretty much goes page by page it'll show you in the teacher's guide what you need to do and it's a lot of extra reading like and preparing just to make sure but um it's not really as bad as like i feel like it's kind of intimidating to look at but it's not really too bad when you get to it like and look and read into it uh, it just goes basically what you need to do and even all the questions you should ask for the readings And it just keeps going. And then you're going down, you're almost to the end here of this lesson and now you're about to go to the next lesson. So that's pretty much what the lessons are like and I will go ahead and scroll down until we get to some of the workbook pages. So, all right, and here are the like activity pages. There aren't very many for this unit. Um, so this one's 2-2, two, two, so that would be around like the second lesson. There's 5-2, and this is like a survey page, but there's pictures, and they're all pretty much black and white, but um, have the instructions will be in your lesson. And then they have the answer guide for these, and then at the very end, there's a glossary. Thanks for joining me today. I hope that this was helpful to see what we are using for science. We will also add in probably some mystery science and Generation Genius, we have access to that as well with our public virtual school. So we will utilize that as well. I will talk to you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.